so welcome back guys as you can see that i am back with a new fresh tutorial of android development series so today we will talk about bottom navigation bar how you can implement it as you can see on the screen when i click this button mail then text here is changing when i click the button movie then it is changing to movie movie is clicked when i click the button i mean when i click the icon person then it is changing to person is clicked so today we will learn how you can make it how you can implement it in your android app because whenever you create an app then you need to make it more interactive so bottom navigation bar plays an important role in making it more interactive as you can see for example instagram and twitter more most famous popular social media apps use it because it is user friendly it is easy to use so today i will show you how you can implement it so let's start so guys first of all we will create the activity dot activity main dot xml file so change your root layout from constant layout to relative layout and then we will use a linear layout with match parent height wrap content and orientation horizontal and then then inside this linear layout we will use some text view so with 50 dp and height 40 dp we will give it id id et and then gravity center then text color i think black is better and uh, text size we will 30 sp we will use hint so hint uh, text text and uh, oh it's fine so let's see why it is only showing txt so give it with 70 think we should make it wrap content that's fine i think so so it will change according to text size if i give make this 70 then it will be 70 if i make 30 so it's showing so then after this we will use one more text view so plus b same attributes so in this we don't need id because uh, the text will not change in this and then there is no hint there will be text so text is is clicked so as you can see and uh, here we need to give some padding to write 5 dp i think now it's looking fine so now after this we will use bottom navigation view bottom navigation view match parent height will be wrap content and then id so id will be navigation navigation view and then layout parent align bottom so it will be true then item text color item text color android i think uh, decide it later so then after this item text color is done and now menu so for this we need to create a menu file so let's android text color so give it to uh, Android, I think color black is fine for now. So now everything is done, but we need to create a menu item where the icons and text will come. So let's create a menu resource directory. 
so first of all go to resource then right click then new android resource directory and we will name it menu and change its value from values to menu and then ok so as you can see that our directory is created then again right click on it and go to new then menu resource file and give it a name menu and then ok so as you can see that our menu file is created now all we need to do is uh, switch to text section and then here we will give items text and uh, icons so we will use four icons so for this we need item then title will be home then id so action home then icon so for icon we need to import some icons from for this go to drawable go to drawable then right click then go to vector asset then click it and then choose icons that you want and uh, you can also paste it externally but i will use it from here so change its name to person icon and uh, finish then So here we have four icons. So this its title is home. So here we will use at the rate drawable because these icons are inside this drawable folder. Then we need to use at the rate drawable when we want to give a color which is inside this values in color. Then we will use at the rate values. So here now we will use at the rate drawable drawable home icon. So as you can see the icon is visible here so you can know that which icon you are using and then we need to copy this then paste it and now we need to change its id and title so its id will be next to mail icon so change it to mail but i think it's quite good action mail then icon will be changed to you can see the icon is changed here the text will change here we will show a movie and id will be action movie and then icon movie icon and then text last is person person id will be action person and then icon will be person icon so don't get confused by this because this is just a look so it will not look like this in activity main.xml so now our menu.xml file is completed so let's go now it's also completed here we need to give menu at the rate menus as you can see that it's automatically showing and as you can see that now it is changed so i think we should give a background color so background color at the rate android and white so i think it's fine it's looking good and easy to see as you can see that here it is looking absolutely fine now we need to go to main activity dot java so inside main activity dot java we will you declare variable for text view so text view et and inside we will give it reference 
et equals to find view by id r dot id dot et and then here we need to define some strings so final string so home equals to home home and then we will copy this or it should be home and it will be person and change the text to person and then person then this should be male and string value will be male and last one is which is our last one more movie so fourth one will be movie the text will be movie so here we declared all the strings and uh, we have given the reference so now we need to write bottom navigation view then bottom navigation view equals to bottom navigation view bottom navigation view find view by id r dot id dot navigation view and then after this bottom navigation view the variable and then dot set set on navigation item selected listener here we will use set on navigation item selected listener then new and then bottom navigation view dot item selected listener as you can see the method we need to delete it and then here we will use switch statement first of all write switch and then we'll write menu item dot get item id after this case r dot id dot action home then what task we want to perform so inside this we will set text so et dot set text home so what happened then when the user will click the home icon then inside this text inside this text as you can see the home is clicked so for this we need to give this layout margin gravity center horizontal and now margin top 100 dp so now it's looking fine so go back to main activity dot java and uh, copy this and paste it again paste it and last now change its id so home to now again what we using home mail movie then mail and change it to mail and its id will be movie sorry movie it will change to movie its id will be what is the fourth one person so id person and text will be person and then here return true so guys now our coding part is complete so now it's time to run and wake up sam my virtual emulator as you can see that everything is complete so let's run it and check this that 
is it working or not so now gradle build is running so let's see what will happen now our gradle sync is complete so now our app is running successfully as you can see that it is looking absolutely fine when i click the button home then there is a mistake that there is some kind of mistake i'm doing but what it is oh that's why i think so there i forget to use a break statement and now we need a break and we need a break and then after the last one I need break so now I think the error will be fine so again run it and see what will happen I think this time hopefully there should be no errors so Gradle sync is finished our app is running successfully so please go As you can see that home is clicked mail is clicked movie is clicked person is clicked so you can see that our app is running successfully so what i'm basically trying to show that uh, you can replace these codes by your own that uh, i'm just showing an example that how you can implement the bottom navigation bar but what you want to do when the button is clicked it depends on you you can change the code inside this case and break statement you just need to follow the steps and everything will happen so in next tutorial we will learn some more interesting things about android studio how we can make a better app and make it more interactive so thank you for watching if you like this video then please like share and subscribe and uh, press the bell icon for watching more videos like this thank you